Chris Rewerts from Berkey's Farm Store out of Henry. In this video we're going to discuss how to set a Pro 700 for corn and beans and we are in a flagship combine but they're pretty much all the same. The first set to setting up your combine for the crop you're going to pick is plug your head in. Uh, Mid-ranges and flagships all know what head is up there. So to double check to make sure it caught it you touch back, go to toolbox, and then you scroll over until you see head one and two. Head one will have your generic head settings. If you notice, header type corn and cutting type row is blanked out where they are not changeable. That is because we have a corn head on here and it knows that. The only things you gotta set is come down here you make sure your folding type is correct and we have an eight row here that is rigid and make sure your rows are correct for mapping purposes it needs to know how big the head is everything else is fairly self-explanatory things you really don't have to touch in head two this is all your options so you know that's if we start at the top and work our way down we do header sensors yes for header control um, header pressure floats always a no if we scroll down a little bit here we get into your sensitivities and your raised rates which also can be put on a run screen and then the big one that I get lots of phone calls on is how do I turn my snails on on my corn head when my corn has it equipped with snails well if you scroll down in head two you will find real end dividers that is how you would turn a corn reel on or turn your real end dividers on so a yes in real end dividers would allow a corn reel or snails to rotate. And also you can make sure if your deck plates don't work, make sure they're turned on. Okay, so once we make sure that the head is set correctly for the combine, you, may go, you can go back to your run screens here. And on one of your run screens, you will have a crop type. It, it, the general location for crop type is run two, but you can put it wherever you want. The screen is completely changeable. So you would change your crop type to corn and that was basically it. Uh, if you would like to utilize your automatic crop settings you can go to back and that's what the ACS tab is. This is more of a flagship thing. But if you come in here to your ACS settings, your automatic crop settings, you would select your crop type and whenever you want to save information you have to have a work condition. So in this instance we have dry corn. So if we would engage the machine it would try and it would set everything to the, what it says over here. So if say for corn we don't like the lower sieve at 15 it works better at 16. You'd hit 16 and then it's if once you get it fine-tuned where you like you hit ACS save and every time you switch from corn to beans it on your crop type it will automatically bring up your save settings setting up a pro 600 or 700 would be basically the same that is how you set your pro 600 or 700 for your crop type 